let's start by identifying the original triangle, which in this case is this green triangle ABC, because notice the notation, neither A, B, or C has a little prime on top of it. So this is the triangle that we are given. By looking at the notation, notice the triangle after the first transformation is this yellow triangle. Because if we take a look at the notation, there's one prime on top of those letters. So now we need to think about what was the transformation that occurred such that ABC became A prime, B prime, C prime. And we can have some observations. Notice that A prime, B prime, C prime is definitely bigger than triangle ABC. And there is only one transformation that can make that happen, and that is A dilation. So let's try to identify the scale factor in that dilation. The line segment AB has a length of 3. The length of A prime, B prime, it is of a value of 6. So it kind of seems like the scale factor, it's of a value of 2. But let's verify this by looking at other line segments. The line segment AC also has a length of 3. And the line segment A prime, C prime, it has a length of 6 as well. We can double check the length of CB and C prime, B prime, but it's still going to be the same. So at this point, we can conclude that the scale factor is of a value of 2. Now to find the center of dilation, let's connect the images and the pre-images. So let's connect C prime with C, and let's just extend that line. Let's connect A prime and A, and let's extend that line. And let's connect B prime with B, and notice that all lines meet at the origin 0, 0. So now we can conclude that there was a dilation where the center of dilation is 0, 0 with a scale factor of 2. In terms of notation, we can say that the yellow triangle, to become the green triangle, there was a dilation with the center of dilation at 0, 0 and the scale factor being 2. So now, let's think about what needs to happen for this green triangle to become the triangle in white. Notice that the orientation in our triangle does not change. The points of C are still in the top. The points of A are still on the left. And the points of B are still on the right. So there is no reflection. There is no rotation. When we have the same orientation, most likely there was a translation. Let's try to identify the movement of translation. So if we start at C prime, if we move 12 units to the left, and we move three units down, we're going to end up at C double prime. Is that the same movement for A prime to A double prime? And it is. If we start at A prime and we move 12 units to the left and we move three units down, we're going to end up at A double prime. And that's the same with B prime. If we move 12 units to the left and we move three units down, Notice that we end up at B double prime. So this is enough information for us to conclude that the second transformation was of a translation of a movement of 12 units to the left and 3 units down. So we have identified the transformation composition. Now let's represent this using the correct notation. The first transformation was a dilation. So a dilation at 0, 0 with a scale factor of 2, and then we follow with the composition notation, and then on the left hand side we're going to write down the second transformation, which it was of a translation of 12 units to the left and 3 units down. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.